Thomas and Friends Storytime The Story of Toby the Tram Engine Starring Toby, Henrietta and Thomas the Tank Engine Based on the railway series by the Reverend W. Audrey Created by Britt Allcroft Read by Mark Moran Welcome to the Island of Sodor A small magical island Surrounded by sparkling bright blue sea It has fields of green and sandy yellow beaches, castles to explore and bustling docks where giant cranes lift and load cargo from large ships. There are also lots and lots of railway lines where engines work hard to deliver goods and passengers to their destinations. Today's story is about Toby the tram engine and how Sir Topham Hatt asked Toby and his faithful coach Henrietta to come to work on Sodor. Toby is short and boxy. He runs on steam, but he doesn't look like a steam engine at all. He has metal safety frames front and back, called cow catchers, and wooden side plates, and he has a bell rather than a whistle. Toby is brave and kind, and he has a heart of gold. It had been a long hot summer on the mainland. Toby and Henrietta hadn't been carrying many passengers. All the passengers preferred to take the bus. Then, one day, Sir Topham Hatt visited the mainland with his grandchildren. Every day they rode up and down the railway with Toby and Henrietta. On the last day of their holiday, Sir Topham Hatt asked Toby his name. Toby, sir, said Toby politely. Thank you for a very nice ride, Toby, said Sir Topham Hatt. Sir Topham Hatt went back to the island of Sodor to run his railway. Now Toby and Henrietta didn't have any passengers, so they stayed in their shed. Back on Sodor, a policeman had come to visit Thomas. The line Thomas was using ran alongside a road. Thomas must wear cow catchers and side plates if he's to continue working on this line, the policeman told Sir Topham Hatt. Poor Thomas didn't like the idea of cow catchers and side plates. Everyone will laugh, he grumbled. They'll say I look like a tram. Then Sir Topham Hatt remembered Toby the tram engine. Don't worry, Thomas. I know just the engine for this line. So Toby and Henrietta came to Sodor to work on Sir Topham Hatt's railway, where soon they were very busy carrying lots of passengers. One day, the Earl asked Toby to help take passengers around the grounds of Ulfstead Castle. There were lots of things for visitors to see. There was a dinosaur park with big model dinosaurs and a museum with a golden crown that once belonged to King Godric. But the visitors had never seen a steam tram like Toby. He looks like a garden shed on wheels, one visitor joked. He should be in the museum, said another. This hurt Toby's feelings. Later in the sheds, Toby told the Earl's engines Millie and Glyn what the visitors had said. It's not about what you look like, Millie reassured him. It's what you do that counts. <coughs> that night, Toby heard the crash of a window breaking. Then he saw two men dressed in black running from the castle. The men had stolen King Godred's crown. Stop, thieves! shouted Toby. The two men ran off and Toby raced after them, ringing his bell as loud as he could. Stop! Give back that crown! Toby shouted. The two thieves disappeared into the dinosaur park. Toby shone his light, but he couldn't see the thieves anywhere. Just then, one of the model dinosaurs let out a huge roar and the frightened thieves ran out of the darkness and into the light of Toby's lamp. Then the Earl arrived with Millie and Glyn. Now the thieves were surrounded. They gave up and they gave back King Godred's crown. Well done, Toby, said the Earl. The next day, Toby was waiting at Ulfstead Station. If it wasn't for Toby stopping those thieves, said the Earl, King Godred's crown would have been lost. 
We're sorry we were rude about you, said the visitors. You're our hero. Indeed he is, said the Earl. Toby is a remarkable engine with a heart as golden as King Godred's crown. The end. Listen out for other adventures with Thomas and Friends Storytime. Thomas and Friends is a registered trademark of Ghislaine Thomas Limited.